hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel Deb Chanel's 48th world glad to have you here with me today and today we're going to be featuring the Armand Wiggins show yes his name is Armand go over there to YouTube I think he's on Instagram Facebook but you would normally catch him on YouTube where he does a lot of his commentary um, he's very funny and I don't know. He just he just draws good energy in a sense, where you can just watch him. But anyway, he he's that person that's saying, "Get in here, get in here, get in here! Come on, I got something to tell you or something to that degree." But go over there and check his show out, okay? But I was looking at some of his commentary this evening, and it gave me the spark to want to make my opinion on some things he said regarding Wendy Williams and Miss Sherry Shepard over there, the comedian. Hopefully, or maybe we'll be taking her place on the William, we the Wendy Williams show. Now, of course, we know she's only been over there hosting because Wendy Williams is out on hiatus due to her health concerns. But from what the streets, the media streets, the YouTube streets are saying is that she's never coming back. Now, she's had several guest appearances from other stars out there, like uh, Michael Rapport, uh, Rapport. We had uh, Leanne Rhyme and a host of other people that we will not name because we don't really know any of them and they're not really, you know, somebody we want to talk about. Okay? But one thing we can say, definitely ain't going to be Nick Cannon, okay? Because Nick Cannon has a show in his his ratings are going in the toilet he just needs to stay with wilding out and all that kind of stuff and just give up the talk so talk show scene because nobody's really gearing towards him in a sense he doesn't necessarily have that likability for that platform of entertainment now if you go watch him on wilding out he's a trip he's hilarious but that to me is his niche he needs to try to expand on that but just having a talk show coming in talking with celebrities or regular people that's doing outstanding stuff out there it just doesn't fit him but sherry shepherd has been tapped in a sense by followers viewers of the wendy williams show as the next person like lord lift us up where we belong okay at least we can do that hopefully with riri tits but it didn't happen she didn't care if they were hanging down to the flow she was gonna wear them drop down uh gowns and, and everybody just had to just watch her okay because she thought she was the it factor but in a sense sherry shepherd has an it factor as far as getting people to gravitate to her and what she's putting out there for the masses to be watching now we do know that she has definitely been on the view and the view is something like a talk show they really focus more on political humanitarian type issues social issues and they discuss them around this forum and whoopi goldberg is one of them and I forgot Joan Blair or Bear. She's over there. And somebody else. I can't remember. But they are really into changing the world. One view at a time I guess. Talking about hot topics that are out there. But they do it more on a um, even keel. Non-sensational type salacious viewpoints. Um, they have a lot of research they put into what they're going to say and they've done their due diligence they almost focus like journalists that try to research what they're going to talk about and find the pros and cons of whatever subject that they're talking about but that's neither here nor there so the question Armand Wiggins was posing on his show about whether Sherry would be able to sustain longevity as Wendy Williams would have or has done and he felt that it's a toss it's a toss of a coin or it could be tossed up in the air because he felt that most of the people that were still watching the Wendy Williams show was basically watching until she came out of her health crisis hiatus you know just like everybody else was filling in for her um uh, in the hopes that she would be back so they're just trying to keep her show alive and not trying to abandon it because they 
meaning we as lookers on or viewers of the show we want to see her you know come back and be in rare form once again or at least come back and say you know y'all my health is very concerning i don't think i'm gonna be able to do anything so i'm gonna you know bow out gracefully it's been a nice run and i'm just gonna retire and go on in the sunset and do other things that i've been wanting to do but this have definitely been my main thing i had to do and y'all love it and i love y'all and this is what i want to do but to me when witness started having her downfall was when she collapsed on a halloween edition show she was doing and i think it was about two years ago and everybody was like speculating what could have happened or whatever people were saying you know she got possessed with demons and this that and the third and you know it was just everybody's speculation was up for grabs of what was happening with her during that time and to me yeah Carmen, i'm putting my investigative hat on i thought that was when she was really going to be cutting her short her show short because it's you can only do certain things for a certain amount of time before it just becomes mundane it's like i did it for 10 or 12 years it's time for me to do something else but then other people in the conspiracy world were saying she has saw something like uh a spirit a bad spirit the devil or a how a hell hound dog they were just going out wow but wow with accusations and speculations but just say if she was her health has turned for the worse because she was being possessed by somebody and now the possession or spirit needs another host and with it trying to leave her it's leaving her body uh like an empty shell and there's nothing else because they've been living in whitney i mean not whitney they've been living in um wendy for so long that it ne she's dying out and they need another host a fresh host to go into and that's another theory and then my theory is she don't let this man got the best of her he don't went on about his life he don't had another child that he's gonna be uh, raising she had to get this man a lot of money because they probably had a prenup or some under the table discussion where he got a lot of dirt on wendy and unless you know blackmail uh she do what he tell her to do uh you know it's she gonna be main blog uh topic you know what i'm saying she's gonna be hot topic for a while so i think maybe they had an agreement if the marriage lasts for so long he was gonna get his cut and so when he saw that time was up he said i'm finna go and you're gonna have to give me my money or else now that's my theory and didn't matter that they had a child together and that she felt that big Kev was gonna always be there to nurture with her along with her as well as teach kevin the basics of being a man a good man and knowing about his heritage as being a black man and being successful and she thought he was going to be able to always be there they was going to be this trio type family and they were going to go into the sunset together because he had been with Wendy for so long prior to them actually getting married and him being her manager and this that and the third and with him being her manager she had a lot of accolades um you know being under his tutelage and him opening up doors for her or being aggressive to make those doors open up for her because of what she had to offer through her talents you know she was a radio personality host and she was doing all those things and she found her niche on reality uh conversations about reality stars and the comings and goings and the bad and the ugly and the good but with this him leaving her for a younger woman and he taking her money to do whatever she wants he wants to do with another woman kind of got the best of her now you know wendy has not had time through all the tapings through all the the shows she had to put out for delmar mercury and stuff and the advertisements she had to go through and just trying to keep a straight face she became in a sense the topic of discussion which she is basically the host of topic of discussion when it comes to other people 
Now, she is an icon. She is a legend. Because you have to have a certain personality, a certain drive to do the type of work she do. Because you know it has to be lonely. Because how can you trust somebody that's going to be on the show the next day, whether she was doing it on radio or whether she was doing it on the TV screen, uh, telling your business when y'all were supposed to have been friends and you told her something that you felt was in confidence between you two, but she had to go blab it all out to the world, meaning she chose stardom, she chose you know, to be the host that she is of gab and gossip over friendships. And you know she didn't get a chance to definitely, I feel, grieving her mother that had passed. I mean, I don't know if they was on the best of terms or whatnot. And, you know, sometimes we do get kind of big-headed where we don't want to listen to our parents even when we're adults. And they still trying to give us advice, but we're not wanting to listen. And I don't think they had a good handle on the ending of their relationship prior to her mother's demise. Um so she never really in my opinion got a chance to grieve her mother's death to grieve all the things she probably wanted to tell her that she didn't get a chance to tell her probably want to apologize to her for things she may have said and didn't mean to say it out of anger then she had to deal with her simpleton brother who's going around here clout chasing trying to speak on her name when they weren't very close they weren't very close for years from what she says and then he gonna have the audacity to come out and speak for her <laughs> i was like and at one time i thought well dang since she was on you know she was under the weather out of commission for a while he would be a great person to probably come host her show you know and of course you're going to gravitate to what the brother of Wendy Williams is going to be talking about you know that would have been a good piece of resistance you know but you know they didn't have that type of relationship and she didn't want him in that business sitting in for her because he might have been talking a little bit too much then I thought well hell maybe her um son could fill in a few times for just to make it you know little things interest to make things a little bit more interesting coming from a younger perspective and his take on certain gossip topics that are out there amongst his peers i said well that would be a good one but then i guess he just didn't want to be a part of the business and he didn't want nobody up in his business and he didn't want to have to explain none of his mama business and his family business that at the time their family were going through but honey everybody just um, deemed her brother as a cloud chaser as a, a, a leech uh a one person want to come up on her name and what she put out there to be the gossip queen of you know everything but um she definitely has had her reign you know and i'm like girl wendy it should be a no-brainer at this point you have done a, a a fantastic job bringing us the gossip on all humanity and the celebrities in that realm and in that order and you know you should just go on and live your life and probably now keep secrets if anybody was willing to trust you yeah i know prince uh, <laughs> you never went on wendy williams show because you knew she would have been asking too many questions that you didn't want out there and it would just been a hot mess because you had to like throw her to the dogs but it just is what it is uh prince was there definitely particular on who he would give interviews to. And he didn't give them that often either. And I'm right with Cat And Whitney. We, uh, I'm like. Uh, I'm shocked. I'm very shocked. But these are the effects of Wendy Williams' uh, Graves disease. Or you know. Where her life has taken its toll right now. Some people are speculating she has dementia some people saying that she uh can't walk without assistance she's unable to walk so she's being wheeled around a lot so that has to do a lot <coughs> it has to be taking a toll on her mentality and that right there is actually a wax figure oh um, yeah her highness okay and she's definitely have, like i said have accumulated a lot of accolades over time and nobody would ever be able to replace that how you doing type of signature piece that she has only wendy williams would be able to
to do that. Nobody can duplicate it, replicate it, or put it in signification without her stamp of approval, okay? So she's definitely been the queen of hot topics, hot gossip, everything dealing with the celebrities. She didn't care. And I would venture to say she didn't really lie on them either because I ain't never seen nobody get a lawsuit on her and told her to cease and desist and stop putting that mess out there. She had some good investigative reporters to go out there, her own paparazzi team that would go and get the dirt <coughs> on her favorite celebrities or even people that she had deemed her friends at one time. But to put up with your mother's death, to put up with your sister, I mean your brother's foolishness, to put up with your ex-husband taking you for everything, pretty much what you got, along with his mistress, half fiance had baby mama it's just too much it took its toll so that's why the company that is invested in when wendy Williams career is looking for other opportunities i don't know how true it is they might just be fishing until she gets a handle on her hill but to me i think you know even if she got a chance to come back it would just be too detrimental on her, her health. And I feel like if you got that much money, Wendy, it ain't none of my business. But if you want to take some of my business or my ideas, my opinions, honey, get your health together where you can enjoy the rest of your glory years. Take your money, live frugal on it or not, however you choose. And just go on into the sunset. Let somebody else have the reins of putting gossip out there. Salacious gossip, I should say. And see if they can top your uh, diversity, your longevity in the business. And you can sit back and say, hmm, I think they're almost up to my caliber. Maybe I need to mentor them, whomever may replace you. And then again, like Armand Wiggins said, you're kind of like unreplaceable. You're an icon. You're a legend. So I wouldn't even look at it like that because I do feel, as Armand had expressed in his commentary about the situation, um, would someone want to watch Sherry Shepard? Now, I can tell you, the girl is fabulous with making you laugh because she is, first and foremost, a comedian. Now, would she be able to harness that into her own show and not try to replicate or duplicate something that Wendy has done and did and is iconic for? She would probably try to mix a little a little bit of Wendy into something that would be called the Sherry Shepherd Show or whatever show they may deem. If she wanted to be entertained with the proposal of having her own show. Because I'm sure they wouldn't say the Wendy Williams show when it's definitely not Wendy Williams up there. It has to say the Sherry Show or the Shepherd Show or some kind of show. You know what I'm saying? And then I could see her actually... Uh, bringing on other comedians on the show, maybe Chris Tucker, uh, Red, Cat Williams, you know, to be to spice it up and to give her a little bit more boost in the ratings uh, area, because that's all the thing these advertisers are concerned with is the ratings and how far it can go up and make them more money, and then they can cut you off a piece because you ain't gonna never make nowhere near what they're going to bring in and that's just a given because it's not yours unless you have a distribution center you have a, a patent thing uh where you patent your shows trademark your show if you ain't having all of that under your umbrella then you're not making no money it's more people the people that are making money is the ones that are putting out the money the the front money to produce a show to have a show in production those are the ones that make the money okay the sign the checks and all that kind of stuff i want to be like them and i don't want to ever be seen you know what i'm saying those are the ones that are making the killing when it comes to the money making you will never see them or if you get a chance to see them it's only for a split second you know they're like the ceo past the ceo they don't have to be seen for nothing they just tell you what they want and they're going to look back and see if you're going to be following their direct decisive order that they just gave you to do so nick cannon he just don't have it he just don't have it so i would say you just have to just you know it's a it's a cost of the torn uh, cost of the torn a cost of the torn 
coin, I meant to say, a toss of the coin, whether Sherry will show up, show out, or fail. It's up to her, and it's up to people uh, giving her the support and not looking for her to imitate or emulate in any way Wendy Williams, you know. But right now, they're just coming. I feel also, like Omar had said, that they're watching the show in hopes that um, the show can stay on until Wendy gets better. But the ratings have shown the show has done fantastic and have even increased uh, viewership with Sherry Shepard hosting. So, do she have the formula to make a show uh, be successful? I do believe so. Now, will it last a long time by her stepping in the shoes of having a gossip type show? I don't know. It all depends upon Sherry. Do she wants to get that gollop? What do you call it? Gollop? Or just say she want to be past the torch? Uh, Gauntlet is what I was trying to say. Uh, if she wants to take a hold of that and say, I'm going to spend the rest of my life alone. I'm not going to have any friends anymore. Not no true friends because I'm going to have to tell all their business. Or if they or my team, my staff, my reporters go out there and they find something on someone that is something <coughs> that could shoot my ratings up. I'm going to have to use it as ammunition and hopefully my friends will understand and they will still be my friends, which, think about it, would you want your uh, worst secret put out in public that can kind of destroy your career or make people in your um, circle look at you differently? You see what I'm saying? So if she's ready to take on that type of pressure, that type of... I know the uh, anonymity where she's going to only be loved by her, I guess I could say, ride or die friends and her family members. And like I said, it can even come back to be your family member that might get in trouble. And, you know, that's news. And they're going to want you to talk about it. Just like Wendy had to somehow talk about the situation that her ex-husband had put her in. Because it was news. Everybody else around her in that circle was talking about it. And Wendy was like, woman enough to say, shit, I'm finna tell my own story. I'm finna tell y'all how long I knew about this affair. What was going on with it. And how I handled it. And she did. Because she knew that was a good salacious story. And if she didn't address it herself and put her signature on it, somebody else was going to do it for her. And she was like, uh-uh, I've been in the game too long. I'm playing chess over here, not checkers. So she put out her own story. Whether it was true, we never know. But she said what she said, and that was it. So I would say I would give Sherry the opportunity to see what she can show and prove us. But she would have to come with her own signature taglines and her own way of doing stuff. That will be the only way people will look at her as an individual and what she's trying to bring to the people when it comes to gossip commentary. Now, that's just my piece on it. Mm-hmm. That's what I feel about it. So y'all get down in those comments whether you would or you don't. You just just like listening to my commentary and don't want to talk about it because you think I hit the nail on the head. Or maybe I was just far off in yonder land. But that was just my take on it. And I appreciate, you know, listening to Armand Wiggins and his take on things and how he viewed it. And I was like, okay, maybe I should look at more youtubers uh when they're talking about certain issues that i haven't sat and read or got it from you know a reputable um outlet that goes around and research and get the correct information out there from great sources i might start doing that i might start doing that y'all but that was my opinion and i showed you a new youtuber that's been out there for a long time and he definitely has the uh stats to be a credible source he's kind of fair i feel with his commentary so y'all should check him out and, and give him a noteworthy buzz and and maybe y'all find somebody else to watch as well uh with me putting out onto some people that i do watch 
but again i got the story because everybody's really been talking about it but i was just flipping through and i thought i hadn't watched him in a long time let me see what he's talking about and he really had enlightened me on some things on what he may have missed that i thought he should have caught uh but then he was just going from his own perspective of how he was doing what was going on with the transition of trying to bring somebody else in to host William we uh Wendy Williams show and with a surplus of possibly getting their own spinoff show or their own show to replace her all together. So thanks for watching guys and if you like my videos definitely share them, subscribe to the channel and like my videos guys. Okay. And I will see y'all next time. Bye bye.